Hi, first grade. For our last lesson of the year, we're going to be talking about how technology makes us feel. I want you to think about these things so that you can make smart choices this summer about using your devices. This lesson from Common Sense Media wants us to focus on why it's important to listen to our feelings when we're using technology. The first thing they ask is, how do you feel when you've spent too much time inside on a rainy day? And I think I could ask you a similar question. How do you feel when you've been cooped up at the house because of COVID-19? We've definitely had a very unusual end to our school year. You might have lots of different feelings about it, but something that I've heard from a lot of kids is the idea of feeling bored or cooped up, tired, ready to run around, missing friends. Those are things that I've heard over and over again. Some people are also enjoying getting to spend time away from others and with just their family, and that's a valid feeling too. Today, we're going to be talking about the kinds of feelings you might have while using technology, like computers, phones, or tablets, after using it for a long time. Some will be good feelings, but others may not be. Let's start by thinking about some feelings you might have while using tech. I'm going to give you a couple of different situations for you to think about. Normally, we would talk about these with a partner and then share with the class, but you'll just need to think about them yourself. Here's the first scenario. You're looking for pictures of hearts, so you search for the word love, but you end up on a site that looks like it's for grown-ups. How do you feel, and what would you do? Here's another situation. You're watching a show that's supposed to be for kids. There's a really scary character that you don't like. How do you feel, and what should you do? In both of these situations, it's common to feel uncomfortable. Uncomfortable is a feeling of hurt or worry. If something you see when you're using technology makes you uncomfortable, you should talk about those feelings with a grown-up. How do you feel after you are done using technology? Some people might feel tired and have sleepy eyes. Some people might feel really excited and ready to run around. Other people might feel happy because they created something while they were using their technology and they feel accomplished and pride. Others might feel frustrated because they wanted to use the technology more. If we were in school, we would color and cut out these faces and we would put them on sticks and we could use them to talk about how we feel with technology. Some feelings we might have are happy, curious, uncomfortable, or frustrated. There's lots more feelings we can have about technology, too. You can see that some of these emotions are good and some aren't, and it's important to listen to your feelings. When you are using technology and you don't have a good feeling, you should follow this three-step routine, pause, think, ask. And this will help you to manage your feelings when using technology. First, you pause. When you have a feeling, stop and take a moment to notice it. So when you're scared, pause. When you're unsure, pause. Notice your feelings and think about what to do next. When feeling like you've had too much time on a device, take a break and try a different activity like playing outside. Maybe you spent so much time that your eyes hurt or you lost track of time playing a game on your device and missed your chance to play outside. You want to notice those feelings and think about what to do next. If your feeling is frustrated, you could take a deep breath and count to three. Finally, you want to ask. You would need to listen to all your feelings and if you're feeling uncomfortable or frustrated, get help from a grown-up. Anytime you're feeling unsafe, unhappy, or unsure, a grown-up is there to help you. Just ask. Now we're going to watch a fun video of the digital citizens talking about their feelings. 
they have a poem in this video that we can use to help us remember some good strategies for managing our feelings too. If we were at school, we would play the emoji game right now. I would read you some situations, and you would hold up the emoji stick that you made that would best show your feelings. Since we aren't together, though, I'm going to have you do this as a Google Forms quiz. Now remember, people can have different feelings about the same technology situation. So on the quiz, you might have one answer, and your friend might have a different answer, and both of those answers could be counted right. For instance, if I said this situation, think about what your feelings would be. You've been watching funny videos of cats for almost an hour. You missed out on your chance to go to the park with your friends. How do you feel? Some people might say that they feel happy because they were watching funny videos of cats. Other people might say that they feel frustrated because they missed going to the park with their friends. You can have different feelings about the same situation. And both of those things would be right. Mm -hmm. 